what is up? This year, LA in a minute, and I'm here in Santa Monica in front of Big Dean's Oceanfront Cafe, which has been here since 1902. It's one of the longest running establishments in all of Los Angeles, and it's got amazing history. Let's get into it. Okay, before I dive into the Big Dean's episode, I need to say something. For an establishment that's 120 plus years old, there is surprisingly little information about this place and even less in the way of photographs. So if anybody has something to contribute, I would appreciate it. You know I'm always around answering my DMs, emails, whatever. Hit me up. Let's dive into this episode. So Big Dean's initially opened his Loring's Lunchroom in 1902, even before the Santa Monica Pier was developed. They served hot dogs, aka hot wiener sandwiches, egg sandwiches, ham sandwiches, and other little snacks and lunch meals. It was opened by Charles Loring and his wife, who also had a baby, as you see in the picture. And that's the extent of what I know about this family, and this is the only picture I can find. Now, I'm not certain if this is related to the Loring's Lunchroom locations that appeared in Boston and Cincinnati at the end of 19th century. But I can tell you this was built very early in Santa Monica's heyday. Remember, the pier was not built until 1909. There's Loring's Lunchroom in the corner right there with the arrow. In the 1930s, the business was sold again to a couple named Dean and Betty Cooper. They continued to operate the business, though they changed the name to Dean's, and it was a popular hangout for tourists and locals. Now, at the height of serving's popularity in the 1950s and 1960s, it was renamed Big Dean's Muscle Inn Cafe. Part of the reason is because the original Muscle Beach, the one that's on Venice now, was actually in front of the Santa Monica Pier with an eye shot of Big Dean's. Perhaps here's why a lot of history and pictures don't exist. In the 1970s and 1980s, it was known as splendidly seedy as a dive bar, a biker bar, and a bar where you didn't want to get caught after dark. Though during the day, Santa Monica Boardwalk denizens hung out at the place where a 60-ounce pitcher of beer was only $7. At night, it was the home for groups like the Hells Angels and Satan Slaves. Stan Surge and Dave Lewis took over sometime in the 80s, and they cleaned the place up and made it more fit for local celebrities rather than biker gangs. Soon they were advertising as world-famous Big Dean's Cafe and newspapers from cities on teams that were going to the Rose Bowl, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, etc. Along the way, Big Dean's also sponsored softball and volleyball teams that competed nationally, all the while refining its once rugged reputation. In 2015, there was a fire behind Big Dean's in an apartment building that caused the closure for almost two years, but enabled the expansion and growth of the now 100 plus year old legend. So Big Dean's Oceanfront Cafe has had plenty of history in its 120 years, right here on the Santa Monica Boardwalk. All right, LA, it's been a minute. 